If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com. You're going to click on FIFA 21 right here. Choose your platform you're buying coins on. Choose the amount of coins you'd like to purchase. Click buy now and then put in the discount code CHIEF for 6% off your order. Now let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you episode 11 of the brand new FIFA 21 Road to Glory series. Now if you guys are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you do please hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description like Twitch for all my daily live streams where we do everything on this Road to Glory. Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments, and then all the other links down there as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this episode. In the last episode, we finished up the Silver Stars objective, so we're kind of done with that team. This is the main team at the moment, as many of you may know. So this is what we're working with. This is what I'm going to play however much of foot champs I can this week. It's Friday when I'm recording this. I am 1-0 in champs right now gonna see how much we can do but the objective for today is we are in the final of an online draft we played the first three rounds on stream as you can see here the first and second round were very easy rage quit wins the third round we were down 2-0 we were down 3-1 and then we came back in 1-5-3 and this is one of the best drafts i've ever had if you guys can see by the team here um, so right away, I sub on Team of the Season Cancelo for Paredes, and I sub on Team of the Season Tavernier for this Marquinhos, and then we save Team of the Season Ronaldo for later in the game for Hazard, and then we put him at striker. So that's this is the team. It's absolutely unbelievable, as you can see. I'm so happy with this squad. Gotten to play with some really fun players. This Kevin De Bruyne has been unreal for us. He's been absolutely unreal. I wish they let you see um just like the stats that your player has done in the draft you're playing so far so like in three games what have been De Bruyne's goals and assists so we're going to jump into this draft game here and just kind of keep talking the draft is kind of it's really nice right now because of how expensive 81 82 83 84 rated cards are that mid-level fodder is all so expensive right now so draft is really good because you can get some decent packs where if you do hit a couple 82 rated cards and that's it you can still make some good profit off of draft which is why i'm a big fan of it so it's probably going to take a second for us to find a game here so i might cut and be right back here all right, guys, here we go into the final of the draft, and it's not a crazy draft for this point in the game. I mean, that Suchek, Saiz, and Chilwell aren't that great. He's got Pozuelo on only one link, Werner not on full chem, Kessie basically no chemistry there. So, like, he's got some good players in there, but it, it's a beatable team. It's just going to come down to if this guy's a really good player or not. So let's go ahead, let's get in here and see what we can do. I'd imagine, yeah, he's going to be making subs right away, so he's definitely going to bring on some stronger players than uh, than what he's got in that starting team. I'd imagine Pozuelo comes out, Saiz comes out. And there's quite a few players that he could do with subbing off, more than three. So it'll be interesting to see what changes he makes. But early on here, we've got a good run from De Bruyne. Can't quite get that pass. Unlucky there. Unlucky. Midfield is nowhere to be seen, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, how have we not won the ball there? That's a great tackle for Meta Militao, though. Get this out wide to, Gar to Garincha. He hasn't taken a touch for some reason. Ball goes out there, though. So like I mentioned, we're going to bring on team of the season Cancelo in this central midfield position. And then this Tavernier is going to play right center back for us. So go ahead, pop those two guys in the team. Hopefully we can see who he brings on here and who comes off. Just to kind of see what kind of changes he's making. All right, let's see it. We'll see it right under the scoreboard, I believe. Oh, go on. Good run, Garincha. Great run, actually. Cut that back inside. Oh, that touch was just too much. Just too much. Yes, Kevin. Great challenge. Out to Hazard. Back into De Bruyne. Smacks it! Oh, De Bruyne's been so good for me this draft. Like, he has just been unbelievable scoring goals, defending well. 
I've loved using him. I can't wait to get his summer stars on my main account. We've got the coins. I just need to buy him at this point. <laughs> Oh, go on, Cruyff. That's a run right there. As Cruyff as well, as you can imagine. Moments Cruyff has been fantastic in this draft. Oh, no. He's got a great run on from Zidane here. But Eder Militao steps across to get in the way of that. Eder Militao as well. The whole back line's been great, honestly. I'd say Roberto Carlos has probably been a little bit underwhelming. But outside him, the whole back line has been unbelievable. I mean, this whole draft in general has just been exposing myself to other really good players that I haven't gotten the chance to use. Go on, De Bruyne. Into Hazard, who's going to take a touch outside, hit it near post. Let's go, boys. 1-0, just like that. 15th minute in the draft final. We're up 1-0. It's Kevin De Bruyne to Eden Hazard, the Belgian link up. Yes, that's great use of the body there. Well, we get a little bit lucky with that bouncing back to me. This quick passing is doing him dirty. And we're clean through with AUR here. Who's going to hit it top bins? It's 2-0 in the 17th minute. Is he going to quit just like that? There's no way, right? Oh, my goodness. And he's already left in the draft final in the 17th minute. He's had an absolute shocker. He's had an absolute shocker. And we've gone through just like that. Two shots, two on target, two goals. I cannot explain to you how fun this draft was to play with. Can we just take a look at this team one more time before it goes? As you can see, first draft, we grab ourselves a win. I mean, just, just beautiful, isn't it? Just beautiful, this team right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And guys, the new Summer Stars team has come out two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. So we're going to open up these rewards, and the new Summer Stars are going to be in packs. And we can take a look at that team as well. So we get the 5k and the 50k pack. That's a good reward right there. We'll take a 50k pack. We're going to pop these open. Let's see. Do we have, we do have lightning round previews as well. So let's just open everything here and see what we're, um, see what we're looking at. See what we're looking at here. This is brilliant. So we got some preview packs here to open. We got these other packs. Let's get into it. 50k preview. Why does it keep saying there was a problem? I guess we'll just open our normal packs here and then get to those previews. Hopefully they work. So 50 or 5k pack to start it off. Come on. What do we got in here, EA? Nothing, no rare card, nothing like that. So it's just going to be common cards in here. Hopefully we get like a good position modifier. No, it's a really bad 5k pack, but we'll be able to sell contracts and whatnot. And it's just some more players into the club, which is nice. And then a 50k pack here. Please be something massive. We could use a big pack pool, EA. We could use it. It's no walkout. It is a board, though. Unlucky there. German. Cam. It's going to be Havertz, so it's an 85. It is an 85, so that should be profit. That should be profit from this draft, even though... Oh, yeah, that's a brilliant 50k, actually. An 85 and two 83s, one of them being Ferland Mendy. That is a brilliant pack right there. Absolutely brilliant. We'll take that. Gonna list this Kai Havertz up. I'm not sure exactly what he sells for. There were some 16k bids on him there. I'll just list him 17k and see what happens. And then Mendy here. Gonna be like another 15k. This draft has treated us very well here. I'm gonna list him like this, I would say. Mendy for 12, 14 and a half. And then we got an 83 Carlos Vela here as well. Got a 4.5k bid on him. So I'll list him like that. Beautiful stuff, guys. There we go. And we can actually look at this new content live on stream. Hopefully open these preview packs if they're working. Come on. All right, there we go. 50k preview pack. Can we hit one of the new summer stars? I don't even know what the team is in summer stars. I have absolutely no clue. So not a great, I mean, that's a decent 50k, but it's not going to make our money back. I don't know who's in the team. I'm guessing Neymar, Sterling, Lukaku are going to be like the headliners. Oh, it's a walkout. Oh, it's not one of those. It's not one of those. Portugal. Oh, I thought it was going to be Ronaldo. Like a couple minutes out after he came out of PAX. I would have been in the mud, boys. I would have been in the mud. So, yeah, not going to be profit off that pack, even with the walkout. 25k pack here, though. Here we go. Oh, no walkout, no board. So, nothing from the preview packs. 
for us today, unfortunately. And I don't think my standard packs. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. But let's look at the new team here. Let's look. Item releases. Is it going to load here? Neymar, Lukaku, Harry Kane, Jordi Alba, Chiellini, Gomez, Raheem Sterling in there. Chiesa, Cavani, Ferran Torres, and Sterling, boys. Torres and Sterling. City players galore. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, this is a nice team as well. City players galore again. This is what I like to see. Oh, man. We got to get Sterling and Torres soon. Got to get them in. We got some sort of milestone done here. Let's see what we did. Draft a mastery. Play five in a draft. We just get some sort of stadium thing, I think. Yeah, stadium theme. So not really too excited about that. But I can't believe how easy that draft final was. That was going to be this whole video, but it went really quickly. So there we go. And then let's oh, check out the objectives the and the SBCs. So we got a showdown for the Euro finals now. A long time this showdown we had for the Copa America final. Man, look at that Jorginho card. Four star, four star, medium, medium, 5'11". I mean, they've gone for two Chelsea players. That is strange to me. That is strange to me. But that is brilliant. How much is he going to set you back? One squad for this Jorginho. Just an 86 squad for this Jorginho. That is very nice, you know. That is very nice for that card. And then, what are we looking at here? We've got throwback marquee matchups from yesterday, obviously. That Summer Stars upgrade is there, which I'm guessing is only Team 1. Yeah. So... Nothing crazy here. And then let's see what the objective is. Let's check out what we've got in store for us here. We get a Festival of Foot Nation player, Yeri Mino. What a card there. What a card. So a Premier League Colombian center back. That is very nice, you know. That is very nice. That card's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And he's... He is relatively difficult to get. Just score 15 goals. Okay, no, that's just score 15 goals. This is score a finesse in 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. So this isn't too difficult to do, actually. This is not difficult to do at all. It's quite a few games, but it's really easy requirements. You don't have to use, like, Colombian players or anything, which is really nice. So that is actually sick, you know. That is sick. So I'm excited to get him in the club as well. He'll be, he'll be a great Prem center back for us. An absolutely brilliant card. And in terms of that Jorginho, I'm just thinking here, like, we could somehow fit him in the team probably and be able to, like, get rid of Reese James if we wanted to. Because that Jorginho with our whole Italian theme, the thing is, I mean, if we wanted to, we'd, we could go like that and then go Jorginho here. It's interesting. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. I hate how many Chelsea players we're accumulating. I don't get it. I don't get it. But, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.